going to happen? I don't know. what's up what's up it's your girl here nia leo welcome to the channel yes welcome so this game was supposed to come out this year it's going to be coming out next year it was postponed until next year um, i'm not quite sure which month but it's coming out in 2024 so i'm so i'm gonna pray the demo that they have is a prologue it's grace prologue is alone in the dark it's free on the computer which is on steam and um the only only the demo not the game the, the game you have to pay for but um but it's also um free on i believe on the ps5 i don't know what other consoles it have if it does i'll show it on the screen if it's on other consoles i know it's not going to be on the switch i'm just wondering if it's on the xbox but yeah let's get into the game Oh, and this is called Alone in the Dark Grace. So this is the Grace from Along. My thing is covering up. I was supposed to push it down a little bit further, but I did it. Shh. Turn up, people. She was, she looked real upset, like interrupting her. I like her outfit. I like the little cool little, is it 50s, 60s look? I think it's a 50s, 20s look. I don't know. She looks cute. Old to skip. Huh? Okay, look at the little girl. Oh, I'm playing as a little girl. I like this. So this is like a remake of the 19, is it 1992? Um, Alone in the Dark. I played it last year, but didn't finish it. Oh, is it going to jump out at me? Oh. I'm like, I'm laughing just like her, like I'm a little kid. What is this? We playing with everything, y'all. Not my best work, if I'm being honest. Oh, I like her accent. I like her little southern accent. I like that. Is there anything else I can play with before I go? Anything over here? I can't press X. Well, we we're playing the demo, so I want to make sure I get everything. I haven't seen anyone play it yet. Oh, look at that. They got her reflection. Okay, girl, look at yourself. Check yourself out, girl. Check yourself out, girl. Twirl on. Can you twirl? Can you twirl? Uh, something like that. A little something, something. All right. Now let's go outside. Why is there a crow in here? Who who opened the door? Is my What's my parents? I know I'm a little girl. All right, we don't need to have that open anyway. Wait, 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 yeah, but I, I'm a little bit more concerned about how this door is closing by itself. Who's shutting that door? <laughs> and wasn't this just outside? Like, there was no bathroom here. Like, we're not questioning that? Okay, let's go. We're not going to question it. Oh, that's nice. What Are you concerned about this door closing by itself? 
Okay. The hallway, sir. So you gonna close? Okay. Let's go. Oh, goodness. You scared me. What are you up to, Jeremy? I have to tell someone what is going on here. I have to try. You're not one of them, are you? Please tell me, Grace. You're, you're not a spy. She's a little girl. No spy. Them. The others. All of them. No. You're too innocent. I'm too innocent. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Just give it to the clerk, Mr. Waits, and he'll post it. No. He could be in on it. Ooh. What if he won't post my letter? Oh, my God. This man is crazy. Look like it's one of yours. Here, let me do it. Emily Hartwood, Dauphin Street, New Orleans. You don't have the number? Not sure the postman's gonna find it without. <laughs> he done disappear. He done dip. Where'd he go? I'll just post it myself then. Okay. That man was a weirdo. Downstairs to the clerk's office myself. Okay, but I'm about to um interact with stuff up in here. So hold up. So it's only the stuff where the circle is at, huh? Okay. Cassandra, I'm touching your typewriter. Oh, freaking weird. Get this thing. Ooh, stair hockey. Nothing else. Oh, ooh, ooh. I wish Batiste would drive me around all day. Yeah. Maybe if I broke my leg. Don't do that, little girl. Don't don't break your leg. I mean, literally. I know they say break a leg when you know you're going out on stage and, and you, you know you got to perform, but don't do that. Don't don't break a leg. So many books in this house, and still nothing I want to read. <laughs> I want to read none of the books. <laughs> none of them. I don't want to read any book. I hope you guys don't hear the noise in the background, but if y'all do, I apologize. Game looks nice though. It looks real nice. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to edit nothing out. Okay. Glad I didn't edit this part out. What is going on? Is she seeing things? Honey, why are you so calm? Like, are you used to this craziness? This is crazy. What happened to the door? Oh man. My ears itching. That's my ear is itching. Do I go that way? Or do I go down here? Do I not go down here? Um, I don't think I go down here. But I'm going down here. Do I try that other door? Alright, let me let me try that other door. If I don't it, it seems like I have to get over there. Right? But what is going on with this house? I'm moving out. <laughs> There's no way. This is not normal. Oh, well, yep, we're going downstairs. We're doing this. We're doing this. All right, I'm a soldier. I thought I told you. I'm, I'm going down here. What's going to happen? I don't know. She says stay like it's a dog. Honey, that's not a dog. That's a creature in a water that came out of nowhere that's in your house. Oh. So, how do I, where do I go? What is this? Oh, okay. We're doing something here.
Oh, you gotta really press that button. Okay, what? I guess I'm gonna jump on that. Okay. All right, she's a smart little girl. Can you walk? Where do I go? Oh my god, what is that? I don't even know what it was. Girl, girl. Just jump. Brother, just go! What? This is normal? Like, what? I, I, I'm done. Okay, stop, 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 stop. You guys are ignorant. Stop it. The stupid, stupid. Oh my god, it's a mess down here. I suppose this mess pales in comparison to the foyer. Can we turn this off? I was not trying. A little night music. No, we need to turn that off. Which door do I go? Is this one? I don't have a key. Hello? Yeah, hello. I need help. There's some creepy stuff going on. Where Where do we go? Where Where, where do we go? Where, where is the key? Oh, I know we're not going back out there. So I can't go this way? What? Oh, there's a key right here? What is this? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're not done. We got more. Last night I dreamt that my uncle hung himself in the attic. Oh, we were too late. Oh. The house looked different, but it was still called Dorsetta. It's definitely a weird place. It feels like I've been here before. I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, Detective. I forgot his name, but I've seen him on right. other movies Let's and shows. Uncle, Miss Is this where we get to pick and decide who we want to choose to be? Oh, okay. They're not gonna let us know. Um, what is it if I want to pre-order? How much it costs? I was on sale for fifty-three ninety-nine. The offer ends January the 16th. So I just want to let you know it's a discount on, you know, PlayStation Plus. You know, you get 10% off. It's not a whole lot, but okay. Let me play the video. Let's see. Do a reaction to the video. Make the video a little bit longer. <laughs> Alone in the dark spotlight. Why not? He can hear you. He can? He can't hear me. Why are you tripping? He's always listening. No, he ain't. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> 1023? 2023? No, more like 2024. <laughs> that we were too late. The house looked different, but it was still called Dorsetta. It's definitely a weird place. It feels like I've been here before. I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, Detective. Yeah, you're right. Let's go get your uncle, Miss Hartwood. 
Wow. This game looks beautiful. It's creepy, but it looks beautiful. I mean, it's always trying to create a mystery, right? It's something that's more than just jump scares. A bit of fighting, demanding puzzles, and a lot of atmosphere. It maintained some of that weirdness of the old games, but it had like an updated slickness to it that I like. Oh, wow. Well. That part reminds me of Resident yeah. Evil 7. I don't think so. In that one part of the house. You would have known if you did. We start our story much like the original. Jeremy Hartwood is haunted by the Dark Man. He goes to a countryside hospital called Josetta in hopes to find some help. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Jeremy sends a disturbing letter to Emily Hartwood, his niece, and it spooks her enough that she hires Detective Edward Carnby to find out what's going on. Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. Yeah. This is Edward Carnby, private investigator. Oh, hello, no nothing. And we let ourselves inside. I do mind. We knew early on that we had a character-driven story, so we needed to find some really good actors to uh, make those characters come to life. I knew of past iterations of the yeah. game. I mean, the video game world. I've is seen him. That I'm very interested in in general. The and I'm glad you are. They picked the right person. <laughs> David has a really strong presence as an actor, and he's able to make the funny moments really funny, but also the dramatic parts really intense. Why the hell do I wake up? Hearing oh my God! Look at that face expression. So much details. like searching for something and you know he's uh he's hard-boiled but he's got some humor to him and stuff like that he's a bit of a um, trope or a type and i like that and i like the world and sort of where, how he's exploring this insanity um amidst all this horror and stuff i liked all those aspects well, let me know if you find her i'll be around Emily Hartwood has a closer connection to the plot as she's Jeremy's niece. Mm -hmm. Nifra also suffers this strange affliction known as the Hartwood curse. I love the mystery of the game. Um, I've never seen her like, there was so much about it in a movie or show, or maybe I don't know. There's a lot of fear within her and a lot of speculation and curiosity and um, I guess dread, intrigue. Like there's a, there's a lot about her that is. Um, kind of on edge 10 years now more even since he died he died a hero Jodie's a fantastic actress and she brings a lot of nuance to Emily as a character and it really makes us sympathize with her who's in here show yourself yes there is the the kind of scary element mm -hmm. she still has to go on a journey and discover different things and there should still be room to breathe and i'm very interested in this game fantastic moment not even gonna lie um so it's just trying to really kind of keep all those other beats alive amongst the um the kind of darkness of it all i guess is how i felt anyway So we're bringing back both Emily and Edward as the playable characters. And the, depending on who you play, you will get a different take on the same story. Oh, really? The people at Dresetta will react differently to you depending on who you're playing with. Oh. Even the story will be slightly different. What are you doing sneaking around? So you should like definitely that. make sure to play it's the game. Cool. Where are you going yeah i definitely have to play it twice the way that if i get it imagine the game was basically looking at the original and it feels like we've been cultivating a seed that was planted 30 years ago and it has now grown into something even more dark even more sinister i remember that the first alone in the dark i made in 1992 we were basically doing something that nobody had done before it was the first it was 1992 so yeah that's the one i played last year <laughs> monsters and solve difficult puzzle all in real time stream at the core is a haunted mansion that's the most important part it's Gersetto, i would say feeling that you're trapped inside 
uh, kind of small space. Yeah. I used to say mm -hmm. back in the old days that it was another character. Yeah, for sure. With all the remakes going on today, you are never sure what you get at the end. I think that uh, Michael and the team at Pieces did a great job preserving the core feeling of the game. They even went further than everything I could expect 30 years ago. It is really an honor to sort of be a part of, of the franchise in that sense, because it is such a, again, I, it can't be overstated, it's so special. It was such a new experience. As a fan of the original, I wanted to bring as much as I could into our version. And uh, they might have slightly different meaning and different uh, reasons to be there, but if you know the old games, you will find a ton of references. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Condy. I love her I accent. The franchise is in good hands now, and I can't wait to play the full game. You know you already played it. To give you a taste of what the full game will be, we also created a prologue, and it features a character from the game called Grace Saunders, who is a little girl, and mm -hmm. you play as her walking around Gisetto and trying to post a letter. Yeah, about that. The prologue that. is the first glimpse into the atmosphere and the mood, and of course the story of the full game. So. Uh, if you want to have a look, go and download it right now. They're so creepy. I did, and I already played it, and uh, I'm intrigued. Ooh, you're going to have weapons. Our combat is intense and tough, and you will need to use every bullet you can find. And if you run out of bullets, I'm out of bullets. You might need to get in close and hit them with a melee weapon. Or if you like this, you can find something to throw. I like this as a challenge. As mentioned before, your job is to find out what happened to Jeremy Hartwood. Yeah, what happened to him? You will need to visit some unexpected places. And to get to those places, you'll need to find clues and solve some interesting puzzles. Depending how much you feel like a detective yourself, you can choose how much you want the game it's to give me Resident and Evil vibes. Oh, this game came out before so Resident Evil, the original so one. <clears throat> so, you kind of see where Resident Evil get their idea from. Beyond the mundane. Well, the so devs who created it. Mike, the director, and I, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out what direction, musical direction, we wanted to take with this project. And when we finally decided to go for this kind of dark or doomy jazz direction. Our minds uh, went directly to Jason, who is uh, a master in this uh, genre. It's a very visual uh, genre of music. The fact that it's inspired from noir films or noir detectives is already a good explanation of why this music fits very well for um, Alone in the Dark. There's a Huge oh, how long is this? Oh, okay. I was just wondering, how, like, how long is this? <laughs> oh my god, they got like a little small band. I love game music. Love it. Game music is the best. As the players drawn deeper into the game world, they will face off with the sinister presence known as the Dark. The Dark Man isn't real, Jeremy. There's nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. I promise you, he will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. Okay. Not, something is definitely corrupting the mind of Jeremy Hart. Yeah, something I know. Very, very dangerous. Alone in the dark. Mm. I wonder why they postponed it. But yeah, it's been postponed since 2024. I'll say it again. Mm. Will you buy it? I don't know. I might buy it. 
before. Oh, you have to buy. I want to. If I buy it, I want to get it on discount. I think the full price would be seventy dollars. Okay, I'm I'm very interested in it. I hope you guys watch then. Some people do. Some people some people watch half the video or five minutes, but I appreciate it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm interested in this game. I really I am. So download it for yourself. Um, see if you like it. Um, maybe you might see something different than I did. But yeah, after that, I'll see y'all later. Peace.